right. Dear students, this is a Brooks School love letter. Much like my colleagues who have spoken before me, I care deeply about the community we build together. There are 351 of you enrolled this year. You come from all over, including countries like Hungary, Japan, Malawi, England, Vietnam, Kenya, and Canada. I am a curious person and want to learn about each of you, which simultaneously feels exciting and daunting. I read this summer that we are evolutionarily programmed to only deeply know 150 people, a figure referred to as Dunbar's number, named after the Oxford psychologist who has studied community organization dating back to Paleolithic times. This theoretical projection, nope, not yet, there we go, <laughs> of neural capacity provides one explanation for why observing others' lives on social media often leaves us feeling lonely or isolated, whereas focusing on the present with people in our immediate company is more fulfilling. While we may not all end up on each other's holiday card lists for decades to come, I like to think that two, three, four, maybe five, years at Brooks School will gift you each with a circle of friends and trusted adults that truly know and care about you and you them. I still turn to my high school advisor for advice and my best friends from boarding school are now the godparents of my children. In order to cultivate these deep Dunbarian relationships, being our authentic selves matters a great deal. At Brooks, we want you to focus on self-discovery so that your self-knowledge can empower you to participate in and share your unique set of gifts with our community. Now we're ready for this. Back in 2007, when Mr. Packard was interviewing to become the fourth head of Brooks School, he addressed the community and shared the following sentiment. If I could wave a magic wand and direct our attention to one overarching goal that we could all jointly strive to attain, I would put it this way. Brook School seeks to provide the most meaningful educational experience its students will ever have. I want to compete and win with every stage in your education. I want these years to be the most meaningful, the most memorable, the most useful to you in your life. I'm excited about our ability to tackle initiatives known and unknown to us, to take these opportunities on boldly, confidently, and certain of our ability to get over any hurdle, to never act or not act due to fear. It matters to me that these experiences carry weight in your life, that this experience is the most personally meaningful educational experience you'll ever have in your life. That aspiration became realized as Mr. Packard assumed the mantle of leadership and a couple years later, the Board of Trustees unanimously voted to adopt our current mission. Accompanying it were six core values. In the decade plus since, Brooks students have explored their meaning. Today, we have a group of seniors who will share with you the particular significance that these community mores have held for them during their time here. I'm sure you will want to clap for them, but to keep it moving, we will send our support telepathically. All right, Monica. Mission. Mission. Brooks's mission is to provide the most meaningful education to its students. Well, when I first started Brooks, I assumed this meant literal academic education. I now know that a huge part of our meaningful education is outside of the classroom. Being at Brooks has allowed me to learn more about myself, who I am, and what I want to do in the future, and to also learn about those around me. I've learned how to be a good teammate, a better friend, and an active member in my community. My own mission going forward is to continue this growth and to eventually become the best possible version of myself.
Empathy. To me, empathy is extremely valuable. At Brooks, I see empathy a lot of, in a lot of places, but especially on the third soccer field. When someone steps on the field for the first time, not having played soccer before, it's, it's important to remind myself that I was once in their shoes. In general, empathy doesn't have to be a big act. It can just be listening to a friend or trying to understand how someone is doing. Engagement. Engagement to me is students trying, to, trying something new and being part of school in multiple settings. I like to think of myself as a pretty engaged person on the Brooks campus. I've been part of many sports teams and think of myself as someone who can be off topic but still engaged during class. I was fully invested and engaged in the music school during my sophomore year, even though I've never sung or danced in front of anyone in my life. Since my freshman year, going to Saturday night activities has been the highlight of my week. With COVID, a lot of us have lost our engagement when it comes to Brooks. But as the year continues, I hope that we can get back what we used to have. Integrity. Integrity is about being honest with your community as well as yourself. Being the most important value in my life, without integrity, there is no trust, no opportunity to build relationships. Aside from academic integrity, which Mrs. Waters has talked about numerous times, um, integrity around campus can be much more meaningful. So I encourage all of you to go live out your lives with integrity and passion th flowing through your body. All right, passion. To me, passion is when you have uncontrollable emotion towards a certain activity, sport, or subject in school. I'm very passionate about basketball, as most of you know, and that passion that I have for it is one of one and second to none. This means I can't live without it, and I think about it like every moment, every second of every day. Because when you're truly passionate about an activity or a sport or a subject, you structure your life around that one passion. I'm happy that Brooks provides the opportunity to excel in the activity that I'm most passionate about. I encourage you all to find your passion. Sorry guys, I'm like lost. Sorry. I was, okay, confidence. Um, whether you're walking onto a court, a field, or into a classroom for a final exam, Confidence in yourself and your ability to do your best is what will ultimately determine your success. Confidence to me also means being true to yourself, standing out, and being comfortable with being different. I'm glad to be in a place like Brooks where I can feel confident in myself while walking around the campus, going to my classes, and stepping onto the field for a third soccer game. Creativity. To me, creativity means looking at something from a different perspective and expressing my authentic self through new ideas. I took my first dance class, a belly dancing class, when I was five at a local community center. I fell in love with it instantly, and I've continued my passion at Brooks taking dance classes every year. In my dance independent class, I try to express what I think and feel through different moves and deliver messages that I want to share with our community. I think a safe environment to truly express oneself is the catalyst for creativity, and I believe that Brooks would allow everyone to think outside of the box and not be scared to share their innovative ideas with others. As these seniors have illustrated, we can find inspiration in our mission and values and also look to them as virtues that we embrace communally in our treatment of one another. It became apparent to me a couple years into my role as academic dean that my conversations with students about mistakes they had made related to academic integrity were missing an element of impact. Why did it matter that they had come up short on that core value? How did it affect their relationships in the community as a result? I decided to form a project team to explore the adoption of an honor code at Brooks. Composed of both adults and students, the latter who are nominated by their peers, 
The group worked together for a semester to survey Brooks community members and engage in a collaborative process to determine a pledge we might make to one another. Completed in the spring of 2019, senior Amy Mojica is our last remaining member of the squad. I have asked her to share some thoughts as to why this process and product mattered to her and to the other students involved. To me, the Honor Code project team was a way of trying to interpret the core values mentioned by my peers and make something special out of the dedication it takes to embody them. The process of developing the Honor Code was long and at times really difficult. Despite this, I firmly believe that the major benefit that came from the Honor Team was a collaborative nature. It not only allowed for diverse opinions, but for concise and intentional communication of expectations. Through and through, the community pledge was always meant to be a universal set of standards that we as members of the community could hold each other to. These expectations are what made the team special. In one way or another, we all embodied Brooks's core values. We all cared for the community. We were all just like any other kids on campus, and that's the beauty of it. While I may be the last student member of the project team left, I think it would be safe to say that we all wanted to help the Brooks, usher the Brooks community into being a better place than it had been before. The community pledge is a manifestation of these wishes, and we spent months on ends to make sure that everyone was seen, heard, and represented. The pledge mattered and still matters because it was a collective effort to unify and get to know our small community better. Thank you, Amy. This pledge will be part of Amy's legacy at Brooks. It hangs on our walls, it lives in our handbook, and of course, we carry it in our hearts. So here it is in all its glory. Laura, take it away. Thank you. On Tuesday morning during third period advisory, each of you who is new to Brooks will have an opportunity to sign the pledge. When you pick up that black felt tip pen, I want you to think about the weight of what you are signing into. A community built on relationships that rely upon you being authentic. In the words of author Spencer Johnson, Integrity is telling myself the truth, and honesty is telling the truth to other people. And now, a quick digression into academic integrity specifically. When you sign the pledge, you are committing to doing your own work, and when given permission to rely upon the work of others, you are promising to give credit where credit is due. This is true in all classes, even art and self and community. If you research, you must cite. If you are asked to write in a second language, you cannot use Google Translate, not even one word. Use word reference. If you collaborate on a lab report, you must indicate that you have done so. When you operate outside of these expectations, we call it cheating or plagiarism. Related to the pledge, we are asking two actions of you. When you complete a quiz, test, lab, or paper, you must write or type, this is my honest work on the assignment. Furthermore, if you received help from the learning center, a parent, dorm parent, tutor, teacher, or peer, you must acknowledge their assistance on the document that you hand in to your teacher. Just write, I received help from, at the bottom of the submission. I have asked each academic department to identify their preferred method of citation. 
Chicago, MLA, APA, et cetera. Each of your teachers should have a citation resource posted on their on Brooks class bulletin board so that you have a roadmap for best practice. Are you going to make mistakes? Most likely. That's a part of learning. I'm asking you to try your best. And when in doubt, reach out. Communication is key and helps us to avoid misunderstanding. So remember to be genuine in all senses, with yourself, with others, and in your work. Spend some time thinking about what you want out of your time at Brooks and what will make it meaningful. Be open to exploring a core value in a way that's new to you. Go out for the school musical like Aiden, or grow your confidence on the third soccer field like Daly. Join an initiative like Amy did, and invest back into the community that has invested in you. Even better, chart your own course. Founding head of school, Frank D. Ashburn, offered these words to Brooksians long ago. Really, the most we can know is what we try to do. We cannot be sure we are doing it well, let alone whether it is lastingly worth doing. But we are a kind of brotherhood, community, here, and we can at least set down the aims and hopes of our society as we understand them ourselves. Thank you, and let's have a great year, Brooks School.